Hi, I'm Jim Blair, president of B Cave Drilling. Today I want to stop and tell you about our submersible pump systems. People are always asking about how they work, and uh, this is an example of a submersible pump that we put in. We put them in lots of places. We put them in the creek, in the lake, in the pond. Uh, we'll put them in a storage tank sometimes, but the most common place we put them is in a well. So this is the two parts of a submersible pump. We have the motor down here on the bottom, and it has this electrical wire that's running down through this wire guard down to feed it. And then this is the liquid end, the submersible pump end itself. The water enters here between the two, and it comes up through this drop pipe. The water flow, we want it to come by the motor as much as we can. I'll keep this motor cooler. The most common way we get that done is by setting the pump above the production zone so that all the water coming out of the aquifer is coming from below and is flowing by the motor on its way in. Sometimes on a shallower well where we got a low producing well, we want to set this pump as deep in the well as we can. In those situations, we'll put a flow sleeve over this pump and that'll force all the water past the motor and back up and in. Keeps it cooler, which just makes it last longer. This electrical cable that we have here is a uh, double jacketed submersible cable. So we have an, a copper wire and it's got its own jacket around each strand. There's four strands. And then we have this double jacketing that goes over that. And we got our motor leads coming from our motor here. And right here we make a submersible heat shrink, a watertight connection. And we even wrap that an extra layer with uh, electrical tape just to keep that protected. We don't want uh, water getting in there and shorten that out. So coming out of our pump here, we use a stainless steel nipple and a stainless steel coupling. And every 20 feet, we'll have a stainless steel coupling joining these sections of pipe. 20 foot above the pump, we'll have a check valve, and halfway up, we'll have another check valve. This pipe is a Schedule 120 PVC pipe. It's a real thick walled pipe, and it uh, is the strongest that we can find to, uh, to hang this pump from. Now let's watch the guys set the pump. We'll show you a few more things about how we do it. So here the guys are putting in a safety rope. This is there, if that pump drops off the bottom of that pipe somehow, we don't want to drop that pump in the well. So we put this little safety rope on there, it's 1,500 pound rated, and it'll pull that pump on out of the well if for some reason it drops off. They're gonna cover it up with tape to protect it so it can't untie. So it's there um, providing safety for us. So you can see, you can see right here, 20 feet above the pump, we have this check valve, and I'll show you what it looks like. Y'all go ahead. See what it looks like here? It's just a brass flowmatic check valve. It's a, it's a valve that lets water go through, but not back. We put it in line on the drop pipe, and that just keeps the water from from flowing back down the well when we turn the pump off, and it holds that pressure ready for us when the pump turns on. That flow of water hits it. It's spring loaded. It opens up, lets the water come right out of the well. If the pump turns off. It stops and doesn't let it flow back down the well.
So these guys are going to keep putting these pipes together into those couplings every 20 feet, taping that wire to it to keep it protected. I got to do it till they get this pump set in the well. I don't think you've got the kind of time to take to sit here and watch them all day do that. So we're going to stop filming now. Thank you for watching Bee Cave Drilling. If you want to see the other surface equipment that we're going to install, just go to another video on our website. Take a look at that. We're glad to be your water bowl provider.